Welcome back to mystery package time. Gone back on the uh, no eBay thing. I've been a lot better though, a lot more selective. There's some there's some deals out there. So as the lottery saying goes, can't win if you don't play. Now I think if I recall, this is going to be. Sorry, I'm not even showing the package. It's a bit of a bigger one, but. I think this is, aha, aha, yes. Oh, I kind of forgot about this, to be honest. I don't even know it came with a lens. Look at that beauty. Okay. This is one of those, if you don't know, now you know kind of moments. This camera is legit. This is the P30, P30T. Basically just a dolled up looking Emmy Super. It's the same kind of mechanism. Actually, it's entirely the same. There's a few key differences, obviously, to it. I believe there's a LED readout for the... Oh, look at that. Flavor pouch. Quick question. How much money would you give me to lick one of these. I'm not gonna lick these, I'm just saying like, if, like, if next time I get a really gross camera and there's like batteries that are like this, like how much money are we talking about here? And I'm asking because like I'm thinking I could, you know, donate part of it to charities or, or something like that. Uh, but like, what is, what would the price point be like? What is your, the viewer, what is the interest level in, in watching that occur? Cause like, I'm interested to know how <laughs> this is gonna turn into camera repair jackass. If you use use vinegar to clean up the mold or battery corrosion, it does start to fizzle, which is kind of fun. It sounds like um like pop rocks. Which I don't know, do they still do pop rocks? It was like the uh, the candy that just kind of like fizzled up in your mouth. It was really weird. Let's put some batteries in here. Notice that these batteries don't have any corrosion on them. That's a little trick of the trade, I found. If you use fresh batteries, it's usually better to test things. It also helps when the camera's on. So, it's off, on, and then if you press this down and push forward, and do self-timer, it kind of... We have a readout, kind of. Okay, so, few problems. One, obviously this. Two, the electronics seem like they, oh no, it's working much, much better now. Okay, so the electronics work well. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about this really briefly. Uh, I don't wanna make this too long. I'm just kind of excited that I finally got one of these because Loki, I think this is one of the most underrated cameras out there. And this is coming from the guy that's like, I'm all into underrated cameras. And even I sometimes forget about these. Like this is, a surprisingly good camera for what you could potentially get it for. I think I ended up paying like uh, we'll say it was like 30 bucks I want to say like oh yeah that's right it was 30 bucks because the guy said I priced it for about the cost of a lens. Lens is in great shape has another filter on it which I'll add to the thousand filters that I have that is working, mirror bumper looks good. Uh, yeah, but overall, I mean, honestly, this camera's in like beautiful shape, but let's talk about it very briefly. So like I said, it's basically just a reskin of the Emmy Super, or yeah, probably more accurately the Emmy Super, because I'd say it's like the Super program, like based on the um, components and the overall look of it. However, the Super program does have that readout in the top, and also the readout on the side. This kind of is a simplified version of that. I think that 
It offers a nice variety of speeds as well as an auto setting. It only goes up to one one thousandth of a second of a shutter, whereas the Emmy Super and Super Program, all that stuff, go up to one two thousandth of a second. So there's that like minor limitation there, but despite all of that, I think the self timer actuator on here is like much better to use. I like this more than the the winder and the sound personally. Uh, let's see what else is here to note. I'm not a huge fan of the advanced handle on these. I just, I find it looks very, it's almost like they built this camera and they're like, oh shoot, <laughs> gotta put on a handle. Like it looks like they just, whatever they had laying around, they kind of put one on. Uh, but you know, overall it's a nice handle, nice materials. It has a good feel to it overall. There's just enough lip there that you can kind of kick it out with your thumb. So, you know, if you're really concerned about like the very minor nuances of this camera, there you go. The readout on the side shows up on the left side, kind of displays like, this is the shutter speed you're firing at, this is the one that will be on exposure, or if you put it on auto, then it just says, this is the shutter speed you'll be shooting at, basically. So, that's very helpful. Looking in the camera itself, there is DX code reading here. That's right, because there's no ASA input on this camera. That's something I totally forgot about. Weird. There's also these contacts here, so you could use like the KA mount lenses, I think they were called, which basically fed input into the camera. So you could fire on full auto everything. Not a bad camera, it'd be good to have in stock. So I think I have Another one coming in potentially that I put a bid on. So we'll see if I, that goes through. I might have two of these. Honestly, I might keep this one, fix it, put it up on the store. At the very least though, got a lens and the lens seems to be working fairly well. So I'm pretty happy about that. And this just goes to show again that like, even as the prices of these cameras rise and the more common things like the K1000s or the AE1s or programs, A1s, OM1s, all of these things as the prices continue, there are still these like little hidden gems, little trinkets. So I will continue to try and find some more of them and kind of promote them some more, show you and anyone who's interested how to use them. Uh, but if there's any that you can think of off the top of your dome that you're interested in, comment down below, let me know. I'll let you know what I know about them if I know anything. And I would love to learn more about like your favorite cameras if you have any, so let me know as well down below. I might make a separate video about that, just like, here's my favorite cameras, what are yours? But until that time comes, I hope this kind of helps broaden your horizons, so to speak. Shows you that there's more options out there than just what all of the cool kids, cool kids on the, on the block, are, are doing be your be yourself be an individual don't be influenced by the masses buy a p30 be influenced by me a notably good influence all right <laughs> i'm probably gonna repair this in a little bit i gotta fix this k1000 shutter still so anyway that is all for today hope you enjoyed this video you are Interested in hearing more about this camera? Let me know. I'd be happy to do more videos about it. Coffee, very good today. I'll have you know. I have made a slight oopsie. Okay, little little oopsie, if you will. I had purchased that P30 and it came in the mail yesterday. And then also yesterday I go out to the mailbox and the mail person, I think I took a picture of it, but just shoved everything in there like it's a game of Tetris or something. And now I still have to go to the post office because oops, we missed you. And it's like, just deliver it to the door. Oh wait, that's right, you don't do that anymore. That's fine, anyway. So yeah, I was like, oh, I don't remember ordering anything else. And I was like pulling stuff out. I'm like, oh, that's right. Apparently I placed a bid and then also won uh, <laughs> the bid on another P30. <laughs>
two P30s, and I think I remember this now after I saw this, I was like, oh, I saw this one. I was like, oh, sick, this was like 10 bucks or something like that, uh, like some very small amount of money. I was like, oh, fantastic, I'll just pick one of these up. And then I saw this one with the lens, and I was like, oh, well, that's a better deal. And this was like a buy it now. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do that. And then apparently I also got this. So now I have two. That's, that's something there. Feel kind of okay about that. And then also I got, yeah, oh yeah, it happened. <laughs> an OM-1. It's pretty busted, not gonna lie, as you can see it's missing the, uh, well, you might, why won't you focus? It's like, oh, focus over here, where you are not. <laughs> Let me focus on this pile of garbage here, that's good. Now focus on the camera, okay. It's missing the uh, on-off switch there, as you might be able to tell. Uh, it's also currently jammed completely. It will not fire, it will not advance. Pretty sure I know how to fix that though, so that should be fun. I'm also gonna operate under the assumption that the battery wire is corroded, which is just gonna be a very good camera to show the basic kind of repairs for an OM-1 because, you know, they're very popular cameras and I just have never owned one until now. So I'm really psyched that this can be my first one. It's really disgusting. As you can see, it's just, <clears throat> it's just full of little fun trinkets and little splotches of corrosion uh, up on the top there, as you can tell. Uh, there's, there's some rusting going on around here. I haven't even looked through the prism yet. Yeah, the prism's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. And yeah, you know, overall, I'm just pretty psyched to have uh, an OM-1. I will say there was something funny. I, so I bought this, and on the listing, I was like, it does not work. And I was like, that's fine. I don't, I don't care if things work, because that's who I am. I was like, can't get the mirror to come down, or something like that. Typically, that's like, oh, we just have to mess around with the curtains. But also, there's a mirror up lever on the OM-1. So it's just, oh, got the mirror to come down. So that was kind of nice, that was a pleasant surprise. So I already got one thing fixed on it, which is nice. Uh, and if it's the OM-2, I don't have an OM-2 on hand, but if you did have an OM-2 and the mirror was stuck up, that's likely because somebody tried firing it on one of the other settings here. There's no batteries in it or something like that, so the mirror will just stick up. All you have to do is move it over to bulb, press down on the hold, and then it'll pop the mirror back down, and then put batteries in it, you should be able to fire it normally. But, or if you can't, then there's likely an issue with the power. But that's kind of the basic thing with the OM-2. The OM-1 is much more mechanical, which is kind of why I purchased it. Also, I feel like it's a little bit more common, but I could be wrong. I just searched OM, and it was like, do you want an OM-10? I'm like, no, <laughs> who would want an OM-10? It's a terrible camera. Not really, but uh, they are. And we can talk about this later, because I feel like that one, that little spicy take might receive some flack. Also, it might not, because I feel like a lot of people don't chew with it as much as I think they do. But if I start making more Olympus content, I feel like I'll get more Olympus viewers, and they might have stronger opinions. Right now, it's like all the homies watching are like, yeah, Pentax, Canon, that, that's the stuff, and I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. But anyway, I would like to diversify the content, attract a wider audience, be more helpful to others, you know, all that good stuff. But anyway, that was the, the treasure trove that has arrived on the day before St. Patrick's Day. So really just psyched beyond belief to have much more garbage to work on. And, uh, talk about I guess 
So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you also are excited for the garbage. Once I figure out this, and then also fix this, this is another customer camera that came in that was like, yeah, it's like not working and I have no idea what's happening. And like, I don't even know what's, what is, what are we doing here? What is, what is any of this? What is going on? I mean, I've seen things in my day, but nothing, nothing quite like this. This is remarkable. So yeah, this should be fun. Just fun filled day of, of repairs. But yeah, once I get those things done and then a few other things on my desk, then I'll hop into that OM1, make a quick video on that. I'm looking forward to it. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when that video comes out. Give it a couple years. I'm just kidding. It'll be a few weeks, but still, um, for when this video is released. So, appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, comment down below. Shoot me an email, as always. I can potentially answer any other questions you may have, more specifically related to camera repair. Like the video if you enjoyed it. As I said, subscribe, because I'm trying to bump those numbers up. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.